Today we want to talk about some of the things you need to be aware of when you're shifting in the yard in an Ottawa, particularly if you're going to be moving a dolly using the dolly picker. Now, just like any other UPS vehicle, you want to make sure you do a thorough pre-trip before you start. Just because it's not going on the road doesn't mean you don't need to pre-trip it. When you're pre-tripping, one of the most important things you want to focus on is the pin on the dolly picker, and particularly the weld around the pin. If the dolly picker is going to fail, this is where it's going to fail. Check for cracks to make sure that it's solid and in one piece. Also, make sure that the warning buzzer that lets you know the dolly picker is down is working. When grabbing a dolly, make sure you have a clear approach and that there are no obstructions in the way. Make sure you leave enough room between dollies in case the dolly comes off when you do your test. dropping a dolly, make sure you drop it far enough in front of the other dolly behind it so you don't damage the glad hand and poses. Remember to always lift your dolly picker, even if you're only moving 10 feet. After you flip the switch to lower the dolly and blow the horn, remember to put your hand right back to the switch so you don't forget to raise it again. After you drop your dolly, just do a quick check to make sure that the trailer is not too low. If it looks like it from the cab, get out and verify. If it is too low, use your normal procedure to raise the trailer and lower the legs. Drop the dolly, back away slowly to make sure it doesn't begin to roll. If the dolly does roll, take steps to secure it. 